friends, welcome back to another family vlog. I know it's been a while since we have filmed any vlogs for you guys, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're following me on Apples and Tiaras, you guys, teaching in person is so much harder than I could have ever imagined. Not teaching itself, not the kids. The kids are amazing. Teaching is a no-brainer. But having the time to plan, prepare, and grade is completely gone. Like, that time is gone. Uh, the only time that I really get to myself is morning and then I get like a 40 minute during the day period. Most days, because sometimes the kids are in the room with me um, and there's nowhere to really go to work where no one's gonna like talk to you. So I think twice a week for like 40 minutes, I get like time to myself. And then after school, which is like <clears throat> maybe 40 minutes. Um, and so it's been hard, um, you know, trying to balance work and home. I am having to do some work on the weekends, like in the evening and during Cash's nap. So that's why we haven't really been uh, posting any vlogs because I haven't really had time to edit, film and edit and upload because the time I'm spending on my computer during nap time on the weekend is not being spent editing a vlog. It's been spent planning for my job. So Today is Saturday though, and Scott decided to give me the morning to myself. He said, I'll stay home with cash, you go do something for yourself. So that was really sweet of him. Um, he also worked two off-duty jobs this last week, um, and one of them was at like three in the morning, and the other one was at like four in the morning, five. So I took cash to school twice last week, which really wasn't a big deal, but it did take away like 30 minutes of my morning prep time. Um, but that was totally okay. It wasn't unbearable. Like I still got to school on time, had time to get things up ready for the day. And so that was okay. But so what I decided to do today is I'm gonna go grab some coffee and then I'm gonna go get my toes done. And then the Trader Joe's in Queen Creek just opened and I am so freaking excited. I'm probably going to be shopping again at Sprouts and Trader Joe's from now on because I just love that. I love Trader Joe's. Um, I could probably get everything I need at Trader Joe's, but then there's like a couple things I would need to get from like Sprouts. Um, it's also right next to Target. So I literally could go and get all of the things that I need in one place instead of having to like balance out my weekend to go to like three different places. Also, we're potty training. So, oh God, I'm stuck in my school. So buying diapers is over. Um, we will still buy like nighttime diapers. So things for him to wear at night. But Cash has been doing really, really well. Um, he only has a couple accidents here and there, only if we're not on top of telling him to go. So, um, I did get him this little potty watch. So it's like a little watch that he wears and every 30 minutes an alarm goes off and he'll remember to go to the bathroom. So that's been working really well when he wears it. Sometimes he doesn't wear it. I wear it like when he's home and then I'll show it to him. And then he's like, oh, potty, yeah, pee. So he'll go. Um, pooping on the toilet has been a little bit tougher, but I've been reading this book. By the way, guys, I promise you, I'm looking at the road. There's nobody else even on this road with me, so I'm perfectly safe. Um, I'm reading this book called Oh Crap Potty Training, and it has been very informational, um, informative. But there's a whole chapter on poop because I guess pooping on the toilet is like this big deal. So I've been reading that and that has really helped me wrap my brain around why he behaves the way he behaves when potty training. Um, it's all about like the psychology behind like a child's brain and why potty training is such a big deal. And then there's like helpful tips on what to do in there. Um, so I'm about this far in. I'm going to read it while I get my toes done today. And what else is going on? That's it. We are preparing for Cash's third birthday. I can't even believe he's turning three. 
um, in less than a month, he'll be turning three. So I actually need to get off of this camera and call the bounce house place and reserve it because um, those go like hotcakes. So I'm actually gonna go and do that. Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. As you see in the back, that's a tent back there. Yes, Cash has a tent in our front room. But we haven't really been filming much. Um, we've been having a lot of things going on these past weeks with the trips and then Charlotte struggling with uh, in-person class teaching now because things are being so different. Now she has a grasp on it. It's gonna get a little bit, it's gonna get a lot better. Um, but we also are potty training right now as well. So lately I've been working a lot of off duty. So I'm not, um, wait, I'm usually waking up like 2.30 in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. Um, so Cash, he has to get up early too because Charlotte has to take him to school. So he's not used to that. So we're letting him sleep in. So I'm gonna go get him now. It's roughly around nine o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go get him. And we're first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight to the potty. We're gonna potty first, and then we'll put some little kid boxers on him. And then every about every 30 minutes or so, we set a timer for Alexa. And as soon as that timer goes off, we go to the potty. Whether he has to go or not, it's up, you know, we don't know that, but we wanna make him get used to going constantly. Um, eventually he'll tell us he has to go, but he's not at that stage right now. We're still new into this potty, potty training. So we got this book, it's uh, for potty training. It's, we really will highly recommend it. I'll show it to you in a little bit. Um, but this morning I have told Charlotte, since she's been crazy stressed with work and everything like that, I told her, just leave cash with me. I'll take care of him for the morning before I have to get ready to go to work myself. But I give her basically a girl's day. Let her go, she's gonna go get her nails done. She's probably vlogging with her phone right now. Um, she's gonna get her nails done. She's gonna, probably gonna go to Trader Joe's. So we got a new Trader Joe's guys out here in Queen Creek. Um, and it's amazing, it finally it's come out. So we don't have to travel to Gilbert anymore. Although we do like to go to Gilbert but it's kind of like 15, maybe 20 minutes from our house and it's kind of inconvenient, but, and Costco's over there too. So if we're lucky enough, we may get a Costco, I don't know though, or a Home Depot. Then we won't tell Charlotte about that because then she doesn't actually like going to Home Depot with me though. She doesn't. Uh, she doesn't like shopping with me in general because I just don't like shopping, so. Yeah, I may have complained a few times. I don't know. But anyways, that's what she says. I don't think so. Are you awake? Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Ready for the lights? Close your eyes. <gasps> Hi, buddy! Oh, big yawn, huh? Hi, bud! What do you got on your shirt? What is that? Paw Patrol. Pa Patrol Halloween. Paw Patrol Halloween? Yeah. All right, you want to go potty? Yeah, that's how you get a new garbage truck. You go potty and get a new garbage truck? Yeah. Yeah, we got to keep going potty. We can't have any accidents and Daddy will buy you a new garbage truck. You're right.
Okay guys, so I'm done with all my errands. I got my nails done. I ended up getting my nails and my toes done. She totally sold me on the dip stuff. So I ended up spending like $100 on nails. Uh, toes, nails, and I got my eyebrows waxed, which it's been a long time since I've done. <laughs> um, so I just got white. I always just get white, um, matches everything. And then I went to Old Navy and got a few things for cash because he is potty training. He's blowing through shorts like nobody's business. And then I did get him, um, since he's turning three, I wanna start training him to wear a mask. So I did get him some little critter masks from Old Navy. I got myself some more masks because I wear them at work every day and I'm blowing through them because I wear a different one at work every day. I got him some new little winter boots. Um, he's wearing a size eight right now. So I got these, I figured these would be great for like fall or if we go somewhere nice or if we go up to Prescott where it's chilly, then he has a pair of like boots to wear. And then I got him this cute little shirt. They only had five T, but it looked kind of small. So I grabbed it and I figured if it doesn't fit perfectly this year, then it will for sure fit next year. He's wearing a three T in shirts and a two T in pants. And then I got him this cute little orange dinosaur shirt, this cute little Halloween shirt, superheroes. There's a dude next to me in this car and he's probably gonna laugh at me. Um, <laughs> whatever. I got him this cute monster truck shirt. Um, Arizona guys doesn't get really cold down here where we live so t-shirts are still acceptable. Um, this cute little camo. He wears his uh, little black Vans and Converse to school, so these all match everything he wears. Fire engine, I figured maybe he'd wear this on his birthday, because um, his birthday party theme is going code three, so it'll be first responders again. But you guys, that's his thing. Like, he loves fire trucks and police cars. Like, I cannot shake that from him, <laughs> so. And then this cute little bear shirt with the little scarves on it. He has three pairs of pants, which I don't think he needs anymore because we don't really wear pants down here that often. So um, he does have like sweats and stuff I can put him in. And then just basic um, sweat shorts because like I said, he is potty training. So he is blowing through his shorts every day. I have to wash like two or three pairs. And then this little pair of nice, kind of nicer shorts. And that is everything I got at Old Navy. They had like a 50% off sale but it didn't really seem like anything I bought was 50% off. I might ended up spending a lot of money. So yeah, pretty much uh, one, two, three, like a couple things were 50% off, but you know what? He needed some clothes. So, and especially these nice little wintery shoes. Um, it probably isn't gonna get cold here, honestly, until the end of November. And even then during the day, it's still in like the seventies. So we don't really need winter clothes for here but we are going to be going up to Prescott a few weekends in November and then especially for Thanksgiving and then we are going to be going to Sholo which is where my in-laws cabin is and we are for sure going there for Christmas so he definitely needed something for that so he has these cute little there's a pop there's um Truck. That's a baby garbage truck. Look. What is that? A smash a kangaroo truck. Look. Yeah. Look, there's a honey grain. Mm-hmm. You want to play in the playroom today? You can open it. You can take it down. You want to take it down? Go ahead. What's that? A monster spider truck. Oh. So I've had these since I was. These trucks, particular, as you saw, they're Tonka. What? What? There you go. So I've had these Tonka trucks, these ones right here, Look, since I was a child. A so a over 20 years or so, I've had these. 
and they don't make them like this anymore. They're very, these trucks are solid like hard plastic. They have like the D batteries and the C batteries, things we don't see very often. They're pretty powerful. Um, I have this, where'd the helicopter go? The helicopter. And then I have this old school fire truck that's actually made out of metal too. What you doing? You're gonna fix it? Cash, did you go potty on the potty? Yeah. Yeah, you did. I think it goes like this, bud. This goes in here first. Like that. And then it doesn't really slide on much. Is that how it goes? Well, excuse me then. If you know, then why are you asking me? No, oh, perfect. It's all done. Good job, bud. You want, what do you want? Here, look. Which one do you want? You want this one? Yeah. That's our chocolate milk. This is the chocolate milk? Yeah. All right, guys. So we get them these uh, iconic kids. Protein chocolate milk. Show them. Show them what you got. Turn around, show the picture. What's it say? They, chocolate milk. It says chocolate milk, that's right. So they're kids' iconic protein uh, shakes. It's supposed to be zero sugars. There's also veggies in them and stuff. As you know, kids are hard to get to eat their veggies as it is, or at least mine is. So we get them these, if it'll focus. And uh, he loves them. I also get them the Orgain kids um protein shakes it's just his way of getting breakfast in him faster he's not a big breakfast eater hey you like eating breakfast you do what do you eat for breakfast Cracker. crackers can you say hi to everyone no. why hey come here don't be shy you want to say hi cash you want shake you just want your shake? Yeah. Okay, can you say hi to everyone first? And we'll give you a shake. Hi. Come back over here. Come here and show them your smile and then get a shake. Come on, you can do it. Come on, no crying, come on. I'll give you a shake. Say hi everyone. Mm. He's shy, but he did give you guys a hi, so that's all right. All right guys, so today, I made some chorizo and eggs with some cheese. Yeah, I had chorizo in there. Uh, I guess I was supposed to eat it with a salad. Some Charlotte makes these salads, right? And I thought, oh man, chorizo left over. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll put it with my eggs the first time, right? Well, then I asked her, I was like, hey, there's no, there's no meat in my salad that you made me. And she goes, yeah. It was in that bag in the fridge, and I was like, oh, well, I ate that. I ate that bag. So, yeah, I don't do too well with these salad things. I don't know how they work. But anyways, this is chorizo and eggs and cheese. Um, I'm going to give it a chance. I got this chicken that I was supposed to sell by, was supposed to sell by October 15th. Charlotte says I should give it a chance. I'm going to smell it first. <clears throat> but I don't like wasting food, so... I might just cook it and eat it and we're, we're gonna see what happens. You'll find out. You'll find out if I'm uh, deadly ill. It's probably because I ate some raw, some salmonella chicken. All right guys, so for my lunch today. Hey, is that how we ask? What do we say? Please. Do we yell? Say no. Please. We say please. What would you like? What would you like? A bar. He's going commando right now. He has shorts on, but he doesn't have any underwear on. We're just going to see. We've been told that uh, it's easier to tr train potty training that way because when they feel it, roll down their leg or, you know, against their skin, they're not going to like that. And then they're going to start to associate themselves to 
making sure they go potty. So we're gonna try that route. Cash, you have underwear on? Yeah. You have underwear on? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. What do you want? You want this bar? Yeah. Z bar? Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Cash, what you doing? Are you blowing bubbles? How come you got bubbles? What did you do to get bubbles? Did you pee standing up? Cash, did you go pee pee standing up? Yeah. Yeah? Like peeing on a bush, huh? Wow, those are some nice uh, police shoes you got there. <laughs> He's eating his veggies. <laughs> what police shoes? Those are very nice police shoes. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is four wheel drive watch. Wow, oh, that's lovely. And then this, this is just casual speed. Oh, okay. Like, shh. And, then, and I gotta put some chains on him for the snow. Mm. For the winter. Mm hmm. Okay. Get your dirty, grimy hands off of my I leg. just washed them. Oh. <laughs> Got peanut butter all over my pants. You what? What, Mama? What? You got a full belly? Um. You got new masks today? Yeah. You gonna show us? You gonna show us your masks? See you later. Bye. 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 you. Bye, guys. Be safe, please. I'm going to work. Where are you going? Mama. To bed. Mama. <laughs> what? No, you want to go poop? No, don't you poop in your pants. You want to go poop? No. Mommy, mommy, mommy can go poop. You want to go poop sure with me? Can poop. I got to go poop. You want to go? No. We'll go together? Is it going here? No, I'm going to go poop on the toilet. You want to come? No. Okay, well, you're going to come in there with me and sit while I poop. <laughs> Right I know here. this is extremely TMI, but if you're gonna go, take them with you. Hey, you wanna go poop? No. You're coming with me though. Come on. So glad that all Facebook All of YouTube knows that I'm going YouTube poop now. Knows that I make poops. Come on! I'm gonna pause it. We'll come back and watch it when we're done pooping. No, yep. No, I'm going poop. You're coming with me. Come keep me company. Just come sit with mommy, read me a book while I poop. Please? Okay. okay, thank you. Hey guys, so it is Cash's nap time and I kind of developed a little bit of a headache so I decided not to um, wash my car today, maybe tomorrow. Um, did go ahead and clean the bathroom though. It was looking really bad so I just... A little bobby pin. I just decided to clean, so, um, you know, basic stuff, countertops. I did end up cleaning the bathtub as well, and I just mopped the floors and stuff, so I'm actually going to sit down and eat some lunch. Um, I have some leftover buffalo wild wings, so I'm going to eat those, and then I have my leftover taco salad. Please ignore my messy room. I'm in the process. I'm actually going to sit and organize this cart, which has all of my stuff, like makeup, hair stuff, face stuff, pretty much anything I use um, product wise. So I need to just go through it, clean it, clean it out, put that laundry away. And I'm actually watching the TV show called Glow. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Um, it's on Netflix. It's like a 1980s wrestling TV show show. I don't know why I like it, but I do. It's really funny. So anyway, I'm gonna sit here, watch Glow and bask in all my beauty you know this is gorgeous um and sift through this 
cart and then try to have this bedroom cleaned before Cash wakes up because we're gonna go next door to our neighbor's house and hang out with them for the rest of the night. So that's the goal. All right, friends, it's Cash's bedtime. Cash, say goodnight. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Good night, Jack. All right, guys, we just got back from the neighbor's house. We were over there for a little while playing. We ate dinner together, and I'm gonna put Cash to bed, and then Sarah, my next door neighbor, is gonna come back, and we're gonna have sort of like a girls' night. We're gonna eat some cookies, and I think we're gonna watch a scary movie. Update on potty training. Cash did not have one single urine accident today. He did um, number two in his pants twice but one was like a shirt and the other one was definitely, you know what. And then I did catch him a third time before he could do it in his, um, but he did end up making it for that one. So all in all, I think it was very successful. Um, like I said, this is the book that I've been reading. Yes? Okay, put your cup in the sink, please. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this is the book that I'm reading. It's called Oh Crap Potty Training. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna read a little bit of it probably tonight before I actually go to sleep. So um, yeah, this has really been doing the trick. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Hopefully uh, Scott will be home around 12.30, safe and sound, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye guys.